Good day and welcome back to Elementary 72 Gaming. Now, you may notice that my game is still extremely laggy, to say the least. But one thing that has changed is it is not so bad for me as it was last week. At least I'm hoping that uh, holds true while I am actually recording. So yes, I am back on and this is an episode. Now I'm doing an exploration through the rest of the Blackwood forest that I have open to me. But for this, I'm actually going to use my crates again. And I'm going to dump out everything that I have into these crates. Now, before I even get started with that, there's two things that I need to do. These need to be fully fueled. Simple reason why I fuel up my torches. I can't find it again, come on. I don't think I have a third torch in this room, but nonetheless, there we go. Now the portals I'm not worried about, they can instantly pull themselves, but downstairs when it comes to these hallways, I'm going to fill two of them. Okay, my, my graphics settings are actually turned up quite a bit. That's because yesterday when I played the game, it was very simple for me to move around. I know there's a torch around here somewhere. I'm just struggling to find it. Can't I find anything in here? I think my angle might be a little bit bad on my viewing for the game. And one last thing, let me just activate this. Sorry about that. But nonetheless. Oh, this hasn't been equipped. So I have been going out on really long journeys at the moment in the game. Yeah, that's way better as well. Okay, so this is just going to be a full journey as I take you out on it. So let's see. Uh, ah, here's the rest of those torches that I want to fill up. Now, just for the note, I'm actually running around and trying to explore the rest of the map. Now, let me just open my map, which is something I normally don't do. And if you look at this, this is all the lower section. As you can see, there's a section of the Blackwood Forest over here that I haven't yet checked out. And besides that, there's also a section up here. Now, I need to actually search through all of this. I actually died there due to lag. But I need to check all of this because I'm looking for the trader. Now once I have the trader, and let me just show you what's the reference, that is all I've explored of this world. And as you can see, it's just this little patch over here. I have to explore all of this here in order to make sure that I have the trader. So yeah, it's a long way for me to go. Come on, jump up. I need to adjust some of my settings, but it doesn't seem too bad. And these arrows that I'm using are quite easy to use, to be honest. Let's see what I have in the first one. These are resin reservoirs. Okay, so down we go. I also need to check up on my crops, to be honest. Let's see, what do I keep here? I mean, if I'm right, I have two bees. That means I need to keep some of these things on me. Flaming arrows, do I need more? Not really. 
What poison resistance on me? I've got some extra height and a few important stuff. That is going to be very important because I might just have to build a boat in the next few episodes. And it's because I have to cross the sea sooner or later. It's not like I have much of a choice in that matter. As you can see, this isn't even 100% the best uh, sourcing method. So things are all over the place. Uh, yeah. Flint. The wood and the hive need to stay here. I need to get a hold of my eyes. There we go. I'm actually thinking of taking a portal with me, which is another massive trip. Uh, let's see, anything in here? Negative. All the food products are going down and that's to go into storage. This is going out into the field to be planted. You can see I'm still not yet 100% up to spec on storing everything in one place. Eventually I will come through and find a way to organize everything. What is in your core wood? Everything else doesn't go in here, not needed. Okay, let's head out. Do I have my cultivator on me? No, that will be in my room. And there should be seeds with it. Yes, it's way better. So for a recording, this is way better for me just saying on the basics. I definitely do need the health potions and all of these uh, brews that I'm making along with the carrot stew. That's because I'm really struggling along through the game at the moment. Uh, yeah, let me just open this. Let's go out here. These are happy. Perfect. And that just about does it. These are happy. Perfecto. is a lot faster than I've experienced the ga game to date. Okay, right, yeah, perfect. I had a full seed farm going, so that means I need my cultivator out. I need to set it to plant carrots, which isn't so difficult at the moment. Since I just have to do this, go around, go down.
So yeah, this, this is what I am prepping and this is how I actually do it. Since I only need that far into the field to actually make sure that my crops are growing correctly. As you can see, I've already spaced them perfectly. They all should remain healthy regardless. Now I just have to go through the row and just do exactly what I need to do. Position myself correctly. Hold six and bang. And bam. Now I can go another row out altogether, but that's only if I need the extra row, which I'm suspecting I'm going to need on this run. Let's see, I've got double, I've got triple each row in size, so yeah, I can do it. Let's just put in two more. can plant before I get all my excess seeds out. Farming is a part of the game, it's a heavy uh, process every single time and I think that just that 9 that I pulled in is more than enough for a full row like this. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Hey, yeah, I'm gonna have access every single time I plant the crop. So that's perfect. That means that I'm keeping one extra. So I can do this again when it comes to planting seeds. Just plant more rows. And then every time I do a in between a, a seed and a full plantation, I have that extra amount of seeds to keep running up through the extra parts of the plantation, making up for what I put in the first time. Perfect. Let me just harvest this. Let's 
Let's see if I can complete the upper part of this plantation with, without actually having to have to go back in and put out more seeds. Now you will notice that I don't just eat all the time. Did I make a mistake on my tail? So yeah, crazy things happened. Um, the PC that I'm playing on has been upgraded. So yeah, that's why I'm so confident with how long I'm playing. And normally you'd see me canceling out and getting back in and out of the game. No problems today, as you can see. There hasn't been that super lag spike, which I always suffer with, which is a great thing to say the least. enough to complete everything there. I have to go with another row. Let's just have a look at how many more seeds I have. I have two more. Okay, right here. So this doesn't last forever. I have to keep growing my crop uh, yield and size for obvious reasons. I'm going to need more and more broths and stews and soups. And as I start taming more and more creatures, I'm gonna need more um, more meat and so forth as I get to the next phase which is really soon now unlike previously where I have to stop every few hours of gameplay I don't right now so that is going to really impact me in terms of how I progress there we go I should have enough to complete the plantation and then I can come back for these last nine Actually, I might be able to even go more crazy with this and overplant this plantation with a whole other section. There is a row which I can put in here, it would be very close to the fence, and I'm not sure if it would work. Let's have a look on the other side. No, not, I can't do anything more than this. This is really pushing the limits. Nine times three, 27. I know I'm not very neat when it comes to this planting. Oh wow, save hit me. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, right, yeah, this, this is what I've been expecting from this PC from day one. A little bit of lag in a fantastic game. I'm going to actually start improving the graphics slowly until I reach my limitations. I obviously haven't tested everything to the max. Obviously, you don't want to push things too far. Pull back. Yeah, I'm all over the place when it comes to this planting. I 
and there we go one full plantation worth of carrots and yeah i did a terrible job with lining up everything if i could plant in uh structures to help me stay straight i would i don't know if i can actually plant one more row out here but yeah that would help a lot and yeah as you can see this this is mainly just me going about sorting out all the small things that i needed for progression This is quite a heavy bunch in here. I can actually make another lot of royal honey and so forth if I wanted to. I'm not pulling out my cultivator in here. I'll keep everything on me. I'm going to go up. I'm going to find the swamp. Let's see how much of coal do I have not enough okay so i do need to start throwing in some wood i need a ton of wood to be honest i'm, I'm going to need to upgrade my base the moment i get uh what you call this here uh <laughs> forgetting everything already the moment I get into the next tier, obviously, I'm going to have to start upgrading the base. And as you can tell, my base isn't 100% at maximum capacity. It's just starting to hit capacity. So yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, keep this. Let's throw this. No, I'm not gonna throw that away. Okay, I'll just keep this on me for now. It's a basic uh, starter pack. I'm just going to sleep out here. The reason why I didn't uh, just jump off instantly into sleep and continue is because I already knew that I'm doing something else before I leave this place. So as you can see there's portals on this side now there's going to be a matching set of portals on the other side i already knew that before i set them up so yeah this one here goes right against the wall let's go through and this is going to be very important i'm actually taking a portal with me this time because my long distance exploration gets a bit crazy and I'm going to need something to assist me with quick and easy. Okay, let's go into easy stuff. Oh wait, let's just hit the portal itself. Because that's exactly what I'm doing. I, I just came in for the portal, then I'm gonna head back out. Oh my, this is like so much better. I hope that everybody does enjoy the new and improved quality of gameplay. This is just me playing around. Obviously, there's a lot for me to do. I'm going to be making up for the past few days where I didn't upload. That is mainly because I haven't been online. And just for, by the way, the lag which you didn't see me experience would make this 30 minute video approximately one and a half hours long almost. So yeah, let's go across all the way. And let's go three. No, I need to see the writing. Right, there we go. Nope, that is it. 
put it back, put it... And let me set the tag on the sun, yeah. Now, swamp is bone mass, so shook, B-O-S-S. -S. Okay, I didn't know there's a limit to size, so I'll just go with bone mass. All right. So that is the name of the new portal set that is coming in. Obviously, I intend to get way more portals than this. I do have a lot of cores. If I'm correct for one of these, let's see what do I need. 220 and 10. 220, 10. All right. So let's go. The order is forming naturally on this side, but not on the other side. Yeah, I know, I made the mistake already. 10, 20, 2, 20, 10. And I've already misplaced two of the items there. Eh? If I do get raided now, it's straight up uh, trolls. So that is the reason for the space to start. With. Oh, yeah, the spear can't be used as yet. Okay, so I've brought you all along for a nice long video i know that this video hasn't been any progression but i am going to be going for progression now because it's time to run through the woods and that is no easy task to say the least i've got two trolls to kill and that's just being honest i've got one right outside my base here somewhere close there's he oh, and i've got a ton of Okay, let me just hit the troll first. Yeah, let's close this. I just need to double check a step before I finish off here. Let's see, what is its block power? 45, durability 200. Parry bonus times 2, parry force 30. Alright, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you all did enjoy coming back with the improved steps. Catch you all in the next one. Have a good day.